I'm going to ask you about the Springfield Promise program first, okay? Um, so how did this program actually contribute to the college search process and applying for the scholarships and grants that you received? Um, the Springfield Promise program linked me with an advisor or two to help me actually focus in on what I wanted to do. So they helped me look for scholarships that geared towards my future and what I wanted to do and also scholarship. They went and searched along with me for scholarships that they thought I'd qualify for and I could apply for. <laughs> along with just being able to be there to support me when I was down or when I was overwhelmed and stuff, they were always there for me to talk to and be able to like have an outlet yeah. to not get overwhelmed. Yeah, what kind of things do they tell you to like kind of help you with that? Um, they told me that it's all a pro that it just takes time like sometimes I would get anxious about like my college decisions or when I wasn't hearing from scholarships and they would just explain or they would call with me the schools to try to like see how things were going if I was missing anything what more I could do in the time to be able to make my application better or see what a possible outcome could be. All right perfect and what colleges did you actually end up um, applying to? Oh, I applied to a lot of colleges. Yeah. Do you know like a number, I guess, or like your top? I applied to, I think, 17 or 20 colleges. Okay. So 17 to 20. All right. Yep. And then uh, what was your top three, top three colleges? The top three I applied to? Yes. I applied to North. Like narrowed down to. Like narrowed down right now? Missouri <laughs> University. Okay. I got accepted there. Oh. Westfield State University. And then Emmanuel College. And then what, um, for each of these colleges, what interest, like, interested you most about each uh, of them? Missouri University, when I was a kid, I used, I watched a ton of sports on TV and I loved their football uniforms. And then it kind of like clicked with me to look at the school. And as I looked at the school, I saw that it had a good nursing program. It was in a nice area. It was something different from where I grew up. It was a whole new experience and I like to meet people and do new things a lot. So it just seemed like something where I could not only get a good education, but also broaden my horizon and meet and experience different cultures and lifestyles. Um, Westfield State has always been like a safety school, a school that's there. Like if I can't get too far away from home because of cost or whatever's going on, I could still go there and have a good education and be able to be close to my family and support them if they needed. And Emmanuel College, I kind of just applied there on a whim. It was a good school. It has a small program. So just the competitiveness and trying to get into a, somewhere where I know I'd be close with the 20 or 30 students to get into the program was very exciting. And then you toured, so you toured each campus, correct? I didn't get to tour Missouri University. Okay. Do you plan to soon? Or do you think you... I did the virtual tour online. They have a virtual oh, tour. Okay. So I did that one. How was that experience, actually? <laughs> the virtual tour? It was weird because I have I toured a lot of colleges in person. And it like I get a vibe, I call it. Or, so I... Uh, just told me whether like I'd be comfortable here or not so looking at the virtual tour everything looks great but I don't know the vibe or the atmosphere around the school yet yeah. so it'd be something new going in if I decide to go there okay. and then do you have so do you think that would be like if, if you had to narrow it down to like your top one do you think Missouri would be the top one out of all of them so far looking at cost yes yes okay how do you how do your parents feel about that too? Like going to a college like that? Um, my parents are very nervous, anxious, but they also have trust in my decision, and they also are very adamant in believing that they raised me well enough to know that I could be independent and support myself with them around or without them around. So it eases some of the stress off them. Actually, how much um, did you receive in funding or scholarships for that college specifically? From Missouri University, I think they offered me $76,000 for four, um, split into the four years for that one college. 
And why does nursing uh, interest you, the nursing program? Um, growing up and still now, I struggle with chronic asthma and severe allergies. So I spent a lot of time in like doctor's offices or I'd go to the ER quite often and because I couldn't breathe and stuff. And just seeing them and having them there to help me just like grew on to me. And I want to help people the way I was helped in the past. I love that. All right. Um, and then also, too, how about the other two colleges? How much like scholarships did you receive in those two? Um, I didn't receive much from Westfield State. I think it was like. 26,000 split into the four years okay. and then Emmanuel College was something like 88,000 split into the four years okay. okay um did you have like so like in school like in high school did you have any like experience like in your science classes or anything that made you want to pursue that new nursing career too um I go to Putnam so it's a vocational school yeah. And I took the allied health course or now it's called health assisting. So I've always been fond of like seeing how the body works and the function. So just anatomy and physiology itself. And then also now that my I'm able to go on co-op at my school, I work in a nursing home and I can see and I have like firsthand experience helping people do the field. Can you tell me about like a particular experience that you um, had like in the nursing home, like with any patient? Um, I think vaguely I could say something. So going into the nursing homes, everybody has something different. I work in a building filled with dementia. And so everybody there has dementia and it's always something different. You can see how one day they'll be one way and another day it'll be different or how different times affect them. Like how some people experience severe sundowning versus light sundowning and sundowning is where there is a change in behavior and it could become aggressive like towards hours of the evening. All right, and then where do you think you would wanna work? Would you wanna work like in a big hospital one day? Um, after my first four years, I want to work in an ER. I wanna be a, a ER nurse. And then I plan to go to medical school after. Oh, awesome. I'd love to hear that, that's cool. You're going after like a big dream. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then let's see. Oh, I also heard you got like a gold medal in the 2022 USA district completion. Can you tell me a little bit about that too? Um, in my school, we have a competition in every shop. They can go and compete at Skills USA. Okay. Um, I do the health knowledge bowl competition where it is me and three other students on one team. And we go and we compete based on our knowledge and um, how well we know our textbook, basically, or all the knowledge that comes with the field. So at districts, we all took a test and then they compile our scores. And it's not only the knowledge in your trade or your field, but also employability skills and just life skills as well. All combined together, they compile our scores. And then if we you score gold or silver you go on to states and we scored gold for i've scored gold the third year in a row this year last year i scored gold at districts and silver at states and then my sophomore year we scored gold at districts but states got canceled because of covid wow but congratulations on all those wow yeah and then what advice would you give to other high school seniors that are like about like about to apply to college or even toward campus or even just apply for those scholarships and funds? Like, what do you like, what advice would you give these students? Um, there's something everywhere for you guys, for them. Um, if they look hard enough or if they just seek outlets, like teachers are always emailing, check your email. Um, speak with your financial advisor. They always have stuff. They even will personalize stuff to you depending on how much you reach out to them. But um, even if you go to like niche.com or places like that, there'll always be a scholarship available. If you don't like a test score or something, retake it. Like your SATs, I took mine multiple times because I didn't like it. If you're continually striving to do the best, you will receive what you, what you deserve. Um, just don't be overwhelmed. Just take it one step at a time. Breathe. When you need a break, sit down and have a break. 
because piling it all on at once will just become overwhelming and you'll shut down. All right. You're like the perfect role model for these seniors right now. Um, <laughs> and then how, um, uh, let's see. Oh, yes. Um, so with these students applying to these scholarships, right? And how do you think, like, once they do, like, receive, like, a scholarship, like, back, like, their award, mm -hmm. right? Um, how do you think this will release the stress of, like, college expenses and, like have them actually want to pursue college just because they have all this, uh, you know, money that's given to them. Um, it's a big relief. A lot of things us in high school that I heard personally in high school was about the debt that comes with college. Okay. So everyone I always hear about student loans or owing money for the rest of your life. So it really gave me a drive to go and receive the money. And when you get your first like amount, which is a good sum of money, it's like, okay, I can do this. It's not gonna be as bad as I projected it to be because of what I've heard. So just receiving the scholarships are like, okay, I can do this. I just have to strive for more. I don't have to dwell on just the cost because there's more to it. So besides the cost, what else should a senior consider in their college decision process? Um. Consider how it'll affect you personally, emotionally, and physically. Personally, I don't like to be 90 degrees all the time. Yes, it's nice every now and then, but I don't want to go anywhere where it's too hot. I like the cold. Um, I also like uh, at a city atmosphere. I don't like to be stuck in the woods or necessarily. I like to be able to go meet people, go do things. I'm a very active lifestyle person. So look for colleges that fit your lifestyle and your ability and what you want to do. Perfect. All right. And then also too, um, what what are you most like excited about for college? What am I excited about? Honestly, I'm just excited to meet people. I enjoy building relationships and being there for people, even like when it's hard i enjoy having people around me and being able to grow so being able to build connections that could help me in the future is what i'm genuinely excited for okay and then also are you doing like fasfa loans too on top of these scholarships i know that's like kind of not price on the side but um none of my fasfa stuff has been incorporated into those scholarships yet okay okay so it hasn't been Okay. Yeah. Also, too, did your guidance counselors become helpful in this process, too, or is it mostly through that uh, Springfield Promise program? My guidance counselors helped a lot. I have had the privilege of having the same guidance counselor all four years of high school. So she grew to know me and like understand me in a way that some other teachers or even the Promise program didn't know me yet. Um, and she was able to find things and sit down and talk to me to relieve my stress. Cause there was days where I was just sitting and I was anxious and I'd bounce up and down the walls and she'd just be able to take me aside and talk to me and confirm with me. And then being able to see the smile and see how proud she was of me also helped. Yeah, so do you think it's important for these seniors or even juniors to have a close connection with their guidance counselor as they go yeah. on? Yeah. You should build a relationship with your guidance counselor because not only will they help you now, they'll even help you in the future if you need. And then while you're in high school, um, what kind of like, what was your drive in high school, I guess? Like when it came to academics, like what kept you going? Like, were you always like studying hard, you know? I've always wanted to make my parents proud. Yeah, that's that's my whole goal in life. Um, they did so much for me growing up. We've been through a lot. And so all of high school, I set goals and standards for myself to achieve more than what they wanted me to achieve, because I don't want to let them down. And I want to be able to build a future where I could support them even more than they were able to support me growing up. Because my parents are my backbone. They're my pride and joy as well as my sister and my siblings. They all were here for me when I need them. So I wanna build my best future so I could be there for them when they need me.
Okay. And then what was your family's reaction when they found out you got like over $500,000 worth of like scholarships? My parents were relieved and emphatic at the same time. Um, they always said that they would help me afford college and be able to pay for college and everything. So seeing the money coming in, it was like a relief off their shoulders where they were like, okay, we don't have to stress or do so much extra because our son did enough to where now we can just support him as he needs. Um, they don't have to, they were like really happy with me and myself because they were proud to see the fruits that I received from what I sow. Um, and they just were able to take a breath and sit back and were like, they're just proud and happy. Not so much to cause stress them out. It was just, they were worried about how I would take things. And then um, when it came to the Springfield Promise Program, so how did they actually come at, I know you were talking about how they worked with you and everything, but mm. did that go, do you know if that went through like the guidance department too? Like, was that like a collaboration? I don't think so. Okay, so it's like their own individualized program. Okay. And then how, how did they, um, like, how do you become involved with that? Actually, like, how did it get started? Um, as a freshman, I was already looking for college and stuff and trying to build my future. So I found this place in my school is called Gear Up. Okay. They had advisors um, there who would in the summer, they took us on college tours or on trips to just do different things and start building our horizons early. And the financial aid ladies office is right in the same room. So she was right across and just an easy access tool. Okay. Are these, so those people are part of that program? Um, no, I think they're two different programs. They just share an office. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, so basically it's all convenient at like students' hands. Like they can just yeah. get, in, get an appointment and kind of talk yep. to them about it. Okay, all right. Just wanted to make sure. Um, and then what are you, okay, so I know you, I asked you about like college, like what you're most excited for, but what are you gonna miss, what are you gonna miss about high school? What am I gonna miss about high school? That's hard because I didn't get to do much in high school because of COVID, but I think I'm gonna miss the school itself. The teachers in the school have been always there for me, always an outlet to speak to. Um, even the counselors, everyone there is always welcoming and happy to be there. Um, never once did I feel shut down by a teacher or shied away. They're always willing to give extra help um, to stay after or just to sit with you and explain things one-on-one. -on -one. So I think I'm going to miss the atmosphere that came with the school and the students themselves, because we have a great student body as well as a great educator body. Is it like a big senior class? Do you have like a lot of seniors? There's year? only like our senior class is, I think, 337 students. Wow. See, when I graduated high school, I had like probably like 50 <laughs> seniors. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we, had, we were a small class, small school. Um, yeah, and I think that pretty much completes this interview. I appreciate your time and thank you so much for uh, taking the time today and everything and sitting down, sharing your experiences with me. Um, I do appreciate it. All right. My pleasure.